just like and welcome to the last Aaron Rambles video before season 2B starts and my reviews start up again. This topic has been something that's been bothering me for a while. It's why this video exists. Normally when I have a topic that I want to discuss I think okay I'll make a video of that when the reviews are over. But I really need to get this off my chest before the show starts because it's really starting to bother me and it's really starting to like rise in like popularity this opinion that people seem to have that is really starting to get on my wick and if you clicked on this from the title of the video you kind of get the idea of what this discussion is going to be about virginity a bit of background for people who don't know in the promos for season 2b a heavy theme has been the love triangle that is obviously going to exist between clary simon and jace as someone who is not heavily involved with Clace or Clyman, someone who doesn't really care about Clary in the slightest, I have just been sort of letting these ad ads for the show just sort of go over my head because I know that the love triangle was inevitable, I knew that this whole thing was going to happen eventually, and since Clary is a protagonist, it was going to be something that they were going to advertise. So. I've sort of just been dealing with it, letting it happen, just sort of going, okay, okay, love triangle, da 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 da. Where's my Malik, by the way? There's not been a lot that concerns me. I hope this isn't a bad sign. But one of the things that one of the trailers have shown is that Clary and Simon are going to be in bed together. Lee gasp! Two 18 year olds sharing a bed when they're in a relationship. How dare they? So disgusting. What age are we living in, people? The problem that people seem to be having here is that Clary and Simon are seen in bed together. They seem to be naked. They seem to have just finished something. You can't say for sure. That assumption cannot be firmly made because nothing is shown. It's just them sort of cuddling and smiling at each other. But this has been enough for book stands to flip their lids. <sighs> Clary is supposed to give her virginity to Jace, guys. Clary can't sleep with Simon. Her virginity belongs to Jace. That's how it goes in the books. How can they destroy the show this way? Again, what age are we living in? The dictionary definition of virginity. State of never having had sexual intercourse. The state of being naive, innocent, or inexperienced in a particular context. So... The most common conception that people have for virginity is that it basically means that you have not had sex yet. You have not... <sighs> Putting it delicately, but in blunt terms, you have not been penetrated. Oh, this is a fun video, isn't it? You have not taken part in penetrative intercourse. So you are a technical virgin. It is a social construct. I hate that term, social construct. It has become such a meme. But virginity has become more of a social construct than it is an actual thing that exists and is like a legally binding thing that if you have not had sex, you are branded a virgin. That is it. <laughs> it is more a, thing, a name that people have decided to use to say, no, I haven't had sex yet. A more broader term is that a girl, a girl in particular would consider herself a virgin if she still has her hymen. Again, fun topic, isn't this? Oh, we're getting into all the sexual uh, lessons today, aren't we? A lot of girls would determine themselves as a virgin if they still have their hymen. But this has grown very old and very dated mindset. A lot of people don't really... Sex isn't what it used to be. Sex isn't the way it was when we were... When our parents were running around doing it, you know? And it all it, it, it is all down to the individual person. How you view sex. How you view its value in your life. How you view your virginity as your personal importance. It is... It is a widely speculated thing that everyone has their own different way of viewing it and their own different definition. So this whole thing that's been happening recently is that people have been deciding 
that the importance of Clary's virginity is so important that the show making her sleep with Simon is the most worst thing they could ever do because she has to give her virginity to Jace. One that's very, um, what's the word, objectifying? They're basic, it's like objectifying Clary. Like, she has to give it to Jace. It's the importance of their relationship. And I get that it's important to some people that Clary gives her virginity to Jace. That it's part of their whole ship, that Clary has never slept with anyone before Jace. But... <laughs> I can't believe that this is the most dominant topic that's being discussed right now. Just because Clary and Simon have been sharing a bed in the trailers, because they're in a relationship, don't you know? They... This is the topic that people want to talk about. I said this in my podcast with Neve. The world of Shadowhunters, the world of the mortal instruments, is literally a world that involves angels and demons, good and evil, downworlders, shadowhunters, runes, magical powers. But all people seem to be able to be concerned with is the relationships. And you know why that is? It's bred from the books. And all the people saying this are clearly people who have read the books because they would be the only people who know that Clary has not slept with anyone until she sleeps with Jace in City of Heavenly Fire. And as I say, sure, for the Clay um, shippers, this is a very important milestone in their ship, I guess. But Clary giving her virginity to Jace for one thing, saying giving is fucking ridiculous anyway, but Clary being a virgin, whether or not before she first has sex with Jace, does not devalue the first time they do it together. Someone's first time, sure, again, depending on the individual, it can be a very important moment. It could be nothing. It's down to how you value yourself and how you value the importance of losing your virginity. And... It's never really talked about how Clary kind of views it. It's it's obviously mentioned that she's never slept with anyone in the books until Jace. And it's realistic in the terms of the books, because in the books, Clary is 16 years old. And sure, in Shadowhunters, Clary is only 18 year, years old. 18 year olds, not all of them have had sex. Not all of them have gone out and, like, you know, slept with people. But... The point is, is that it's more realistic in the books that Clary's a virgin because she is a 16-year-old girl. She's a lot younger. So is Simon. In the show, they're all older. They're all mature. They're all a lot more experienced in those kind of realms. It's not even mentioned in Shadowhunters that Clary has had sex or whether she hasn't. But here's the conundrum. In season one, Simon slept with Maureen. And sure, a couple of people were annoyed. But no one really gave a shit. Like, it was it was a bit of a uproar, a wee tiny one. People were like, oh, but he's supposed to be with Isabel. That's how it works. Do, 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 do. It lasted about a day and a half that people were bothered by this. And then it was over. People didn't care anymore. But I'm seeing this topic of Clary and Simon over and over again. Literally, the top comments on the Shadowhunters page are people complaining because Simon and Clary aren't supposed to sleep together. Some of them are even saying Clary didn't even want to be in a relationship with Simon, which just baffles me because that makes it even worse. Because, yes, in the books, Clary did not really want to be in a relationship with Simon. She was using him as a rebound when she found out that her and Jace were siblings. But... That, that, for one thing, that just makes Clary come off as a complete nutter dick, which she is, in fairness. But I don't understand how that defends their argument, because all it says is that, oh, Shadowhunters are trying to make them have a genuine relationship by making them be intimate with each other. How fucking dare they? Clary is supposed to be using Simon like she did in the books. And it's like... These are the people that Cassandra Clare have bred. A woman's virginity is her business. And... I, as I say, I I can understand that people are annoyed that Clary and Jace aren't going to have that moment where Clary loses her virginity and all that yada yada yada, all that romantic crap. Yeah, I get it, okay? I get it. I would have been annoyed if Magnus and Alec hadn't of had that first moment. If Alec had, a, for some reason, like, had sex with Lydia just to prove something to his parents or something like that. I would have been upset if that had happened, because, yeah, sure, he's supposed to lose his virginity. Well, I, 
lose his virginity. I don't I don't even like that term anymore. Like have his first time with Magnus. That would have bothered me. I will admit that. But the more thing that's bothering me is that everything that this show has ever done, including killing Jocelyn, this is the thing that is clogging up the comments. This is the thing that people are getting their ass in a twist about just because Clary may or may not. It has not been confirmed. It has not been confirmed whether they do or they don't or this is a dream sequence or not. It has not been confirmed. They are literally just seen in bed together and people are getting up on a twist saying, does the show want to get cancelled? Is this how they do it now? Or why are they disrespecting the books? One, the books are not, do not dictate the show. Two, the rights to the books have been sold to Shadowhunters so they can do what they want with the characters. And three, this whole idea of who Clara gives her virginity to should not be the most important thing that people are talking about. This is a show that deals with homophobia, racism, biases in government. And all people seem to be concerned about is who's fucking who and who wants to go out with who. Like, why? It's con people have described it as disrespecting the characters and disrespecting the relationships, and I, I, Clary's virginity does not dictate her worth or her value of her relationship with Jace, whether she gives it to Simon or whether she gives it to Jace, or whether she gave it to some guy she met in a club once. Well, she met some dude in pandemonium, went home with him, had a one night stand. That is her business. That is what she did. It does not make her relationship with Jace any less worth, worthless or any more worthful. Is worthful a word? I don't know. I don't care. I'm ranting. Leave me be. It doesn't matter. It's like that Peter Griffin meme. Oh my God. Who the hell cares? There's so much more to be talking about in this show than, than virginity and relationships and who's having sex with who. The only time I will excuse it is when people got upset about the amb ambiguity. That is so bad pronouncing that. The <laughs> how unclear it was whether Magnus consented to Alec last season. That is the only time I've ever excused sex being the topic that people have been concerned about. Because otherwise, who cares? These are teenagers. Not even teenagers. They're adults in the modern world. So sex isn't as big a thing. We are all acting like, I'm not acting, I say we. People are acting like sh the show maybe having had Clary having such a genuine relationship with Simon to the point of where they maybe did have sex. They're making this a big thing. They're blowing it up and damning the show. I mean, I know people who are fans of the books search for reasons to hate the show anyway. It's pretty obvious people do that. I don't know. Even though the show has gotten season three, you'd think they'd have stopped by now, but no. But I get that they always look for reasons, but this is everywhere. I'm seeing it everywhere. This whole Clary's supposed to give, that's give people, not decide on her own, not like sort of have a whole thing where it's like, oh, this is my decision, my virginity. No, she gives it to Jace, apparently. She has to give it to Jace, apparently. She can't give it to Simon. Her relationship with Simon was just supposed to be a fling that she did to rebound. No regard to his feelings whatsoever. It was just supposed to be a thing. They weren't supposed to be genuine. Apparently Shadowhunters is dragging this relationship on too long. Which is people who are shipping Clays are saying because they're not getting enough Clays. You know what Clays shippers? I ship Malik. I read the books in 2013. I did not get to see them fucking even kiss until last year. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. You're lucky you're even getting to see them get together in the first place. Because anyone who believes that they're going to make Clary be with Simon are fucking stupid if you have read the books. I will excuse people who have not read the books. I, that makes sense that you don't know. But people who have read the books, Shadowhunters is not that dumb to make Clary end up with Simon. They've already confirmed that Sizzy is going to be a slow burn anyway. Why would they make Clary be with Simon if Sizzy is coming anyway? Why are you making this into such a fucking song and dance? Jesus Christ! And then the Shadowhunters page has to deal with people complaining and complaining and complaining about people having about Clary having sex with Simon. 
if it's not clear whether they do or not. And then I'm sure Todd Slapkin and David Swimmer have had to deal with people tweeting them about it. And they're probably thinking, what the fuck are these fans? Is this all they think about? It's all they care about is the sex in the relationships. I know that you want Clace back. I get that you didn't get a season with it, but it's going to come back. It's obvious it's going to come back. Oh my God, in season 2B, this whole who will Clary choose like marketing ploy that they've had going has been making me fucking laugh because it's fucking obvious. I'm sorry, Shadowhunters. You just aren't an Agatha Christie novel. We know who Clary's going to end up with. There's no mystery to it whatsoever. Oh, this gets me more angry than it should. <sighs> This show deals with so much and represents so much. Sure, it has its problems, but sex should not be what people are focusing on. Oh my lord, especially since it hasn't been confirmed that Clary and Simon even have sex. People are getting, jumping the gun and getting angry before it's even confirmed that they've actually done it. Maybe Shadowhunters does want Clary's first time to be with Jace. Maybe they do want that special moment between them. We don't know. We haven't. They haven't shown Clary and Simon freaking banging in their trailer. They're literally just in bed together. People are jumping the gun and getting angry before they've even seen anything. And we've barely gotten any Malik in our trailers. And we've been having to keep our mouths shut while yous complain about who Clary gives her virginity to. Fuck off. Oh my god. It doesn't matter. And I really don't think Clary and Simon are going to have sex. Maybe that's me just having too much faith in the show. I'll probably have to hold my hands up and say I was an idiot if they do. But I shouldn't even have to. It's their business as characters. I know it sounds stupid because they're fictional characters. But it's their fucking business. <sighs> I will hold my hands up and say if I'm wrong. But I really don't think they are going to make them have sex in the first place. And even if they do, I don't really care. I'm more concerned about the political things that they're going to address in this season. The racism, the homophobia, the biases, the sexism. I want to see all that represented in this season. I want to see it addressed because it ha it's a more reflective of modern day times than who, who the hell Clary's going to bang. <sighs> Maybe I'm just weird that way. I don't know. I know there's quite a few people who are annoyed by this. A lot of my friends are. We, I've talked about this many times that it's bothered me. But anyway, I don't know. This is the last Aaron Rambles video before the reviews for Shadowhunters, so I'll see you on Tuesday, hopefully, with the first thoughts for... Is it pronounced Mina Maxina Kupla? I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think that's episode 11, I'm not sure. But I'll see you for first thoughts for season 2B, episode 1. See you then, Shadowhunters, Angels and Darmods alike, and until then, please focus more on the important things in the series instead of who's gonna fuck who. Please.